I honestly thought 2022 was going to be the end of our company. Ah, oh, I don't want to be miserable anymore. You've taken so many f***ing L's in sales. This is literally the lowest time. How many is the you're tracking? Our big rebrand threw the company into utter chaos. Issues like our UPC codes being too small to scan and a lot of stores not updating their price tags meant that we got hit with wave after wave of backlash. No one's going to be buying these now. Y'all slip. The company started hemorrhaging money as our team threw cash around desperately trying to solve the problems. Authorized $1.4 million and dumped it into inventory. Our brand new CFO had to freeze all spending, or in months, we would have been completely bankrupt. We lost $2.4 million in three months. Just two weeks later, we realized our labor costs in the plant were insanely high. So for three weeks, I lived in the plant, figuring out how to increase our efficiency just so we could save a little bit of money. At this point, I was spending 15 hours a day jumping from fire to fire. It was taking everything I had to not throw in the towel and walk away. The only thing I care about right now is turning midday squares around. We started to improve just in time to make a massive 400,000 bar order for Target. But sales had vastly overestimated how much Target would need, so a third of that would expire before even being sold. We just can't get it right. Why can't we get it right? And to top it all off, after spending a year and half a million dollars on this machine to improve our chocolate, it still hasn't worked. I need to get it out or else we're going to have real big issues. It's now or never for midday squares. We want to be the biggest chocolate company in the world and all those problems, the late nights, the moments of failure showed us exactly what we need to improve. It's easy to say everything It's hard to say, well, what of that was good 2022, we were five seconds away from crashing into a wall. But now that our finances are under control, the future is bright. We just launched our new flavor cookie dough, got lots of attention for being in Forbes 30 under 30, and our team is ready to win. Nothing is certain, but we are fired up. 2023 is the year of momentum.